What's up guys, wouldn't it be cool if you could flash your home kit lights when your doorbell is rang or when your washing machine goes off or when a motion detector detects motion. Today we're gonna do just that. Let's go. Yo, what's going on guys? Thanks for joining me today for another video. For those new here, my name is Shane, and on this channel we're building an easy smart home using HomeKit. So if that sounds like something you're into, uh, be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you don't miss out when we post new HomeKit videos every week right here. And for those of you who have subscribed and seen some of my past videos, you might notice my office area studio here is kind of changing from week to week. I'm still working on this area and figuring out what works and what I like and what I don't like, so it might keep changing. But it was in this process that kind of got me thinking of new ways and creative ways I can incorporate HomeKit and automations into this studio and setup. And the first thing I was thinking was it would be cool if I could get some kind of visual cue if my doorbell is rang. Uh, this room is actually in a bonus room above my garage, so I thought, you know, the doorbell might ring, I might not hear it, so that's what sparked this idea here. Right, so what we're gonna do today is create two different automations. The first one, when somebody opens up my office door here, it's gonna flash that desk lamp back there five times. So my house is kind of full of pranksters and everybody here likes to sneak up and kind of startle the piss out of each other. So this way, if somebody opens up my office door and I'm sitting at my desk with headphones on, uh, my desk lamp will flash and nobody can sneak up on me. And the second automation, like I said, is going to be that doorbell. If somebody presses my doorbell, which is actually just a home kit button that I'm using. I did a video on that a while ago. I'll leave a link in the description below for that if you wanna see how I did that. But essentially, if somebody pushes this home kit button, uh, my doorbell is going to flash a different lamp up here. And I'm gonna set this up with just a smart plug just to show you that this will work with different kind of lights. So what I'm gonna use is just a regular lamp with a regular light bulb plugged into a smart outlet. And then when somebody pushes that doorbell, it's going to flash this lamp five times. So I'll know without actually hearing the doorbell that somebody's at the door. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this and set up these two automations. Okay, so I've got my old iPad Pro here open and you can of course do this on the iPhone as well. Um, but just thought this would be easier to show you. So let's go ahead and start. The first automation is gonna be really simple. We're just going to simply uh, make the light flash five times when the door is open. So we're not gonna do anything else other than that. Let's go ahead and go to automation. What we're gonna do is create a new automation. This is when a sensor detects something. I have a door sensor on my studio door, so I'm gonna choose that. We're gonna say when the studio door opens, next. Now you choose what happens. Instead of picking another accessory, we're gonna scroll all the way down and you see convert to shortcut right here. We're gonna choose that. And that's gonna convert this to a shortcut. So. Now what I'm gonna do is we want to control the light. So I'm actually gonna delete this, um, just start from scratch. So first we want to create a repeat action. So we can search for repeat. Okay, and I'm actually gonna repeat it five times. Now I tested this and to see how far you can go and it went up well past a thousand for me. So I don't know what the limit is, but you could have this thing repeat many, many times apparently. Okay, so now we're going to look for Control Watley Home. And I'm going to look for my desk lamp right here. Choose Next. I'm going to turn it on. And this is a home kit light, so you can adjust the brightness here. So I'm going to put it all the way at 100. Done. I'm going to pull it in here, okay, so in that repeat action. Next, we're going to use a wait action. Okay, and you can change this. So depending on your home kit lights, you may want to play with this. Uh, some, la some lights turn off and on a little bit faster. Most of uh, the smart lights, they'll fade a little bit. So, you know, if it's not working the way you want, you may want to you know, do two seconds in between. You can play around with that and see what works best. I'm gonna leave it at one second. And then again, I'm going to look for that same desk lamp. 
and this time we want to turn it off. Okay, so I'm gonna pull that up under here, and that's really it. It's gonna repeat this five times. It's gonna turn the desk lamp on, wait for a second, turn it off. Go back to the beginning, turn on, wait a second, turn off. It's gonna do that five times. And that's it, that's all we have to do here. So it says when the studio door opens, it's gonna run that shortcut we just created. I'm gonna choose done. And that's it, that's all we have to do. And now we see that automation down there at the bottom. So let's go ahead and test this out and see how it looks. Okay, so as you can see, that one worked well. Now we're gonna do another one and take this one a step further. And we're gonna set this one to only flash the, uh, the lamp five times if I'm at my desk. Now we're gonna determine if I'm at my desk based on my light strip. You can see that orange light strip back there. Uh, that is always on when I'm at my desk. So we're gonna do an if statement that says, if this light strip is on, then we're gonna flash the light. Otherwise it won't because I'm not at my desk. And then we're gonna even take this one a bit further and we're going to set the lamp to either be on or off once we're done flashing it based off of what it was initially. So I'm gonna show you how to do all that. Let's go ahead and jump in and set up that automation. We actually need to start in the accessories because I am going to be controlling my doorbell. So this is actually going to uh, happen when I click my doorbell. So I have a HomeKit button, it's just an Acara uh, wireless mini switch that I'm using as my doorbell it shows up in HomeKit. So I'm gonna go to that doorbell under the single press action. I'm gonna choose add, I'm gonna scroll on down and same as before, we're gonna convert this to a shortcut. Okay, so this one, we're actually going to get the state of the lamp first. That way we can, after we flash our lights, we can revert it back to whether it's on or off at the end of that. So let's, um, actually let's remove this, start from scratch. Let's uh, choose, we'll get the state of one of our accessories. This is gonna be the lamp, which is just the smart plug right here. So we're gonna get the state of the smart plug. Now we're gonna, we're gonna do add to variable. So we're gonna add the power state to this variable. So automatically grab the power state from above and we're just gonna call this lamp one. Okay, good, so we got that, we can use that later. Now let's create an if statement. So when I'm at my desk, my desk light strip is always on. So I'm gonna create an if statement that says, if my desk light strip is on, then we're gonna run this action. Otherwise we won't. That way it's not gonna do this if I'm not at my desk. So we're gonna choose the if statement. We're gonna say if, we're gonna select a home accessory. I'm gonna scroll all the way down. Let's see, my Eve light strip, that is the one I'm looking for. So again, if I'm at my desk, this thing is always on. So this is not gonna run if I'm not at my desk. Now we're gonna choose that repeat like we did before. We're gonna pull this up under our if statement. Let's go ahead and change this to five times. And now let's look for our smart plug. Again, we'll control Watley Home, that'll work. Scroll all the way down, smart plug, next. We're gonna turn it on. Pull this in here. Now we're going to add that wait action. One second will be perfect. Now we're gonna look for uh, control Watley Home again, and we're gonna look for the same smart plug so we can turn it off, turn off, perfect. And pull this up under our weight. And that's it for the repeat. So again, it's gonna turn it on, wait a second, turn it off. It's gonna repeat that five times. Now after it repeats, I want it to actually turn the lamp either on or off again, depending on what it was before. So we're going to actually create another if statement. It's gonna say if, we're gonna choose lamp one. That's that variable that we set earlier. I'm gonna pull this up under here. So we're actually kind of embedding an if statement within an if statement. Actually, this needs to go after the repeat. So there we go. All right, so if lamp one, and that's basically if it's on, we're going to control Watley home, choose that smart plug again, 
and we're gonna turn it on. So we're gonna make sure it's on at the end of this. Otherwise, let's get that same smart plug and we're gonna turn it off. So we're gonna put that in up here in this otherwise, okay? So just to recap, first we're gonna get the power state so we can use it later and add it to our variable. Then we're gonna see if my desk light strip is on. We're gonna flash the lights five times. Then we're gonna see if the lamp was on initially, it's gonna turn it back on. If it was off initially, it's gonna turn it back off. And that's the end of that if statement. And then for this other one, we can actually choose a nothing action. So what this is gonna do, I'll put this right here. So this is that main if then statement. So if the Eve light strip is on, it's gonna do all that stuff. Otherwise it's not. So in other words, if I'm not sitting at my desk, it's not gonna do anything. So if I'm not at my desk, I don't care that the light flashes. I don't want it to if I'm not up here. So that should be it. Now let's test this thing out and see how it works. All right, so there you go. As you can see, everything seems to work fine. Uh, we did a really basic version and then we did a more advanced version that kind of detects if we're at the desk and also sets the lamp back to what it was before. So this kind of thing can really be useful for a lot of different things if you get creative. One thing that comes to mind is maybe the hearing impaired or people with disabilities. You know, you can get visual cues around the house for different things. That could be really useful. You could use this for your washing machine or your dryer. You can use like a vibration sensor on your dryer, for example, and when it stops detecting motion, you can flash your lights somewhere in the house and you'll know your clothes are done. You can use this for a motion sensor, for example, outside. You know, if that motion sensor detects motion, you can flash lights inside if you want. You can use this like we are for door sensors. Uh, the possibilities are kind of endless. So get creative and let us know also in the comments down below what kind of cool stuff you're doing with this. You know, we can all kind of share and learn from each other that way. I hope you guys enjoyed this and got something out of this video. If you did, please hit that like button. That helps me out and that helps other people find these videos. If you haven't already, please do subscribe, click the bell icon and hit always because that's the only way YouTube is actually gonna notify you when I post these new home kit videos every week. As always, thanks for watching everybody and until the next time, we'll see y'all later.